push. Play. And so we make one last descent down to the final floor of the level. It's a lamppost. Okay, I can't tell you quite why, but for some reason, Coda fixates on this lamppost. It's going to appear at the end of every single one of his games from here on out. I'll tell you what I think. Uh, I think that up to this point, you know, he's been making really strange and abstract games with no clear purpose, and maybe you can only float around in that headspace for so long. Because now he wants something to hold on to. He wants a reference point. He wants the work to be leading to something. He wants a destination, which is what this lamppost is. It's a destination. We're going to see it in the work as well. His games are just going to become a lot more cohesive, a lot more fully developed, with more of a clear idea behind them. And as we go, that idea will get clearer and clearer and clearer. I wonder why he changed his mind. He seemed set on making strange games. This game is connected to the internet. As you walk around, you can leave notes. All notes you see are left by other players. Nice room, not <laughs> rude. <laughs> So first off, I'm sure you can deduce this, but this game is not connected to the internet. All mm. of the notes that you're going to see have been written by Coda. This was actually the first game of his that I ever played. This was shortly after I met him at a weekend game jam in Sacramento, where I grew up. I saw him working on this very level, and it was just so different from anything that anyone else was doing. So right away I was like, I have to be friends with this person. <laughs> In retrospect, I think I was probably a bit too pushy trying to get his attention. Uh, I was over-enthusiastic. But he was very gracious about it and <laughs> very patient with me. And I cooled off eventually. Hello! Hello! <laughs> Oh, feel free to skip over any of these notes if they're not doing anything for you. Nothing oh. extra is going to happen if you read all of them. Oh, okay. Thank you. Either way, Whoa. to me, they convey a sense of loneliness. Yeah. I see this person who's filled with thoughts and feelings and beliefs and has no way to express them except as scattered and unheard voices in a game that wasn't meant to be played. But it's ironic, isn't it, <laughs> that in playing this game and seeing how alone Coda often felt, that we get to know him better <laughs> and actually kind of connect with him. And I have to be honest with you, this idea is really <laughs> seductive to me. That I could just play someone's game and see the voices mm. in their head and, and get to know them better and have to do less of the messy in-person socializing. I could just get to know you through your work. I think this is why I always liked Dakota's games so much, is because it felt like they let me have that connection. I felt as though he was inviting me personally into his world. And then I feel less lonely too. Hmm. And it seems like all things that someone would say, hey guys, just looking for someone to talk with. Oh. <laughs> hmm. No. Stop it. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Don't listen to that guy. <laughs> Need other side door. Why you so? <laughs> door, how open? Oh, 
from Sesame? Did that work? No? Okay. Makes game, includes door, cannot open door. Thanks. Man, this is like reading Reddit. <laughs> I just saw a flying penguin. Let me tell you, it was the most majestic thing I have ever seen. I don't feel like living because nothing will ever be as majestic as that. I never want to see again if nothing will ever be that beautiful again. I am crying now and plan on ripping my eyes out. I must go now to do that. Please do not do that, please. Okay. Mm. Oof. Yeah, where's that freaking penguin at? I, I just never equate majestic with penguin. Oh! <sighs> Someday I will meet the person who made this. Look in the mirror. I help people because of the internal good feeling I get. No room! Do you hear the chimes? They keep you going, don't they? Cabbage? What? Cabbage? Cabbage shapes our nation. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm this is not going anywhere. He even got it grammatically wrong, like a lot of people do. That's good. What if he got uh, ideas from people to write? I'm not safe. I can't help you with that. Today I learned you cannot fall off. Whoa! Ethical. Okay. Hey. Dots. Help, I'm trying to speak. Hey guys, how's it going? Just hanging. We will all die someday. Stop pretending you are other people. Hmm. Well, I'm here now. Yeah, we're all here now. There must be a reason for it, though. His terrible secret, he kept it well. I beat the game! More room? At the end of this huh. level, we're going to see the puzzle again. And here, I'll tell you what I think the puzzle means. Each of these games represents an idea that was on Coda's mind at the time that he was making it. And the puzzle is a way of closing the door on a previous chapter of his life before moving on to the next one. Hmm. <laughs> Excuse me? In hmm. each of his games, after exploring a theme that, you know, he might find difficult, Coda can then place this puzzle that he knows has a reliable solution, he understands exactly how it works, and so it gives him a simple mechanism for moving on. <laughs> oh. Help! <laughs> oh. Oh. And because there's this dark area between the doors, oh. a space between spaces, before you move on, you get to pause. Just for a moment, a few seconds to reflect on and let go of the events that led you here. To step back and connect the pieces together to grasp at that elusive bigger picture.
how do you leave notes? Aren't you doing that now? Oh. Do you remember typing on these? Are you there? Please say something. It can be anything. I just need you to say something. Talk to me, please. Why are you having so much difficulty talking? Speak, 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 speak. I'm too busy reading what you're saying to speak. Porn okay, star side two. It's gonna kind of just spin its own wheels for a few minutes. Hang with it. I like your furniture. That's nice. Oh, this is creepy. That's all you got to look at, huh? Huh. Man, he loves those spiraling staircases. This is it. The whole game. And there's nothing that's particularly interesting about it. You oh. just walk to the end of a hallway. Except, for some reason, Cody gets really fixated on this prison that has all of this modern furniture. And I don't know why, but he decides he needs to revisit this prison. He's gonna start over, use the same assets, turn it into something else. Okay, cool. Here's version two. No furniture. What furniture ought to go in the center of the room? Mmm. Yeah, I'm gonna start with a TV. One. How about a TV with surround sound? That's not a TV. Where's. Okay, now what about along the wall of the room? Let's put a huge picture of a horse. I'd really like a washing machine. Ten stoves lined up along the wall. This isn't cafe world. I don't... Who are you cooking for? A huge... I don't want a washing machine. <laughs> I don't have a body. I don't care about washing clothes. Let's put a huge picture of a horse. Okay, so I don't get what I want, huh? I think we should light up this room a bit. Why are you even asking me? It won't matter. You need more sun? You didn't get skin cancer. A skylight. Full ceiling window. Let's open this baby up. Two, I'm thinking 10 by 12 recessed electric 6 inch soft LED ceiling lights with fluorescent trim. Dang, bro. Dang. Uh, three, we'll put live Tessa coils in each corner. Yeah. Mmm. I like skylights. Skylights don't even sound nice. The skylight full. So I just get a lamp and a table. You need a table. I have a table. Look at it. Who are you? Where exactly are you doing this? Where? Yeah, where are you doing this from? Two, I'm pretty sure none of my choices are making any difference. Or three, tables were invented in 1935. Yeah, I'm pretty sure none of my choices are making any difference. Let's do it. You basket. Uh, there's a bit more to this one, but still, it's not really communicating anything. It, it's kind of just weird for weirdness's sake. I disagree. You can't always get what you so, want. Okay, he throws it out and starts over. This time he comes at the prison idea from a different direction. Hello. Sure. Ah. This guide will enable you to escape any prison environment. What the f... Follow the instructions carefully. Take care that you remember each step. First, click on this table. Good. Go over to the photo frame and click to turn it slightly. Table, photo frame. Now turn the floor lamp in this room off, then turn it back on. Table, P. 
picture lamp. Now go to the left side sofa, move it over a little. Finally touch, stop it, touch the shelves. Oh, Simon says. That's it, in a real prison, the escape will now open. Return to the start to be taken back to your prison. Uh, do you remember any of that? And of course, now the table is gone and you can't begin the chain of events to escape. Here's a version where there are no bars, but you can't actually get to the well. And then a version where the inside of the prison is ah. the outside and the outside is the inside. Let me just blink you real quick through a few more of these. I mean, he really unloaded on this prison idea. There's nearly a dozen of them. Personally, I think it's awful to watch this. To see a person basically unraveling through their work. And for what? Like, at what point do you just go, eh, maybe there are game ideas other than this prison that I could be working on. <sighs> but Coda doesn't have that voice telling you to stop. That particular mechanism of defense against yourself. Without it, you just spiral. And so he keeps going and going and going and going and going. And then he hits on something. And he likes it. And that's it. He's done. He stops making prisons. This is the very last version of the prison game that he created. And the reason I think it works is that the prison is not actually in it. Hmm. I don't think he's spiraling. In my opinion, I don't feel like he's spiraling. I feel like he's just trying to find what what works. It's like trying to find the right words in a poem. The words that really give you that oomph and helps you to help people to feel what you're feeling. That's what I think. Excuse me. Thank you. Oh. Whew. Hello? Who is this? Hey, it's me! I'm you from after you escaped the prison! You're me? So you were trapped in this prison too? One? Yep, it. I it's was in the furniture maze. And so this is what Coda wants, is to be able to talk to someone, to share what's on his mind, and to get some good advice from someone who knows. Mm. But the irony is that even in this scenario, you're still talking to yourself. No. You know, all of these games so far are Coda talking to himself. Uh, one, yep, I was in the furniture maze. Two, yep, I was in the escape tutorial. Or three, yep, I was in the reverse prison. I was in all of these. Then it doesn't matter which one I choose. Two. Yep, I was in the escape tutorial. That's where I am right now. Oh, I'm so glad to know that I get out eventually. What's it like to escape? Uh, <laughs> uh, one, actually, I'm already forgetting what being in the prison was like. Two, it's strange, but in a way, I kind of miss being in the prison. Or three, it feels like being completely still and wildly in motion at the same time yeah I don't I haven't forgotten what it's like to be in the prison I'm still trying to remember all the things I need to do to escape it in my head two it's strange but in a way I kind of miss being in the prison that's I've heard that a lot too that's that's sad uh, when someone's institutionalized? That's, that's sad. Um, three, it feels like being completely still and wildly in motion. I'll put three because I feel like I haven't exactly escaped yet. <laughs> but I'm going places. Do you feel any different? 
Sometimes I'm scared I'll get out and then things will be exactly the same as before. One, no, I'm really the same person now as I was back then. Or two, it actually does change. I don't feel like the same person at all. No. I think it would be too. I it f actually does change. I don't feel like the same person at all. Oh, good. That's so nice to hear. That makes me feel really happy. Uh, one, age just kind of does that, you know? Or two, I'm still me, but I'm not somehow. It's hard to describe. Or three, remember to enjoy being who you are right now. It won't last. Hmm. Two. Um. Yeah, two. I'm still me, but I'm not somehow. It's hard to describe. Wait, if you're me... Then did you get a call from another version of you when you were trapped? One, no, I, I think I'm the first person to call back. Or two, yes, I did get a call. That's how I escaped. No, I didn't. I didn't get a call. One, no, I think I'm the first person to call back. Then can you tell me how to get out? Maybe I can come find you. What do I have to do? To get out, all you have to do is be sincere. Or two, to get out, you need to tell me how you feel right now. Or three, to get out, just talk with me for a bit. Whoa. Wow. Yeah, man, just talk to me. Because <laughs> I don't think you have a narrator. I don't think Davey's in your ear right now. So just, bro, just talk to me. Just talk to me for a bit. What? That will free me? How does that work? One, listen, you can't know until you're out, but I promise it works. Or two, just talk to me. Or three, it will make sense. Bro, this is freaking heavy. <laughs> You can't know until you're out, but I promise it works. Yeah, let's just do one. Okay, I can talk. Let's just talk for a bit. Will you be here? I will be here for as long as you need. Bro. I can see why he considers this a fitting conclusion to the prison games. After all of the obsession and frustration, just to be told by someone you can trust that things are going to be okay, wouldn't that be nice? I need to call my mom. <laughs> so what would it look like if Coda wanted to make a game about talking to someone other than himself? You, to me, this environment is meant to represent Coda's puzzle, with the two doors on either side and a dark transitional space between. Mm -hmm. Oh, I've seen these homes. Oh, where it's just all glass. How do you live in these homes and not feel like people are watching you? That would bug me. That would bug me. Uh, oh my gosh. This. Oh, this would bug me. 
I mean, if you could see my desk right now, you would laugh because I have yarn perler beads, gum, fabric, clay. What is this? Uh, tax papers? from 2018 but if I saw this that would drive me nuts oh it's not in alphabetical order Ugh. okay what what do I need to do clean yes we need to clean fix the rug first please well my goodness I'm glad as all heck that you showed up thought I might be having to clean this entire house all by myself and right miserable that would have been Everyone knows lonesome, knows lonesome hands make lousy homes. You'll notice that the quality of the art is a step up from previous games, mm -hmm. including this new and improved chat system, which he started using from this point on. From here on out, he begins putting much more effort into the visual polish of his work, and this particular game took two months to create as a result. Oh. He spent time to do that? Oh, I guess I should talk to you. Uh, one, don't worry about me. A place this nice, I'll be glad to stay here all night. Two, and lousy homes make home loners. Or three, are we cleaning this whole place? I... I feel like one and two are just... Don't make sense. Like, they don't progress forward. So three, are we cleaning this whole place? That's the story, little one. Um, oh, don't you worry now. We'll be through this mess in no time. I promise you'll wish there was more. Why don't I finish up here? In the meantime, could you please clear the table? Done. Much nicer. That's the table I want to see. Now, would you please run into the bedroom and make up the bed? Sure. Oh, can I do this? I have to do it in order or I... Okay. Uh, while you're in there, why don't you straighten up the rug a bit? All the little details matter. There you go. Do you enjoy being a house cleaner? Two, how'd you end up doing this job? Or three, it's been a long time since I've seen a house this messy. No, it hasn't been long. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mm. Do you enjoy it? Do you enjoy being a house cleaner? Or is this just paying your bills? Well, I don't enjoy it so much as I need it. While I'm working, I feel a kind of calm that rests in the pit of my ribcage. My soul just can't be soothed any other way, it seems. Which I guess is all about... Which is about all that matters. Oh, that and a uh, tidy couch. Would you straighten the pillows on the sofa out there? Are you the cleaner or am I the cleaner? Cup. Oh dear, looks like someone spilled a drink over by the couch. Maybe mop that up as long as you're over there. I feel compelled to share an incredibly cheesy personal insight. You okay with that? Oh yeah, make it especially cheesy. Oh, I love cheese. Uh, yeah, I'll try to get by, or do you absolutely have to? No, make it cheesy. Can I do the dishes? No. No, it was stupid. Sorry, N never mind. Hey, these dishes need to be washed. Why don't you come do that? As long as it's this easy to clean, I will clean all day. Uh, last I checked, the tub needed a cleaning. How about you scrub it down as best you can? No need to be perfect, we're all just human. <sighs> for someone with a freaking clean cube for a head, you aren't cleaning anything. 
Are there still books scattered on the floor of the bedroom? If so, would you please... Well, would you put them back on the shelf? I'm, I'm trying to walk and read at the same time, which is a big mistake. Perfect. Now then, how about you come and clear these dishes off After the table? The set of prison games, this house cleaning level almost feels like... Cleansing. It's the moment after a particularly difficult or traumatic experience where you just need to let it sit and digest inside of you, and eventually cohere into something meaningful. <laughs> uh, one. How's cleaning is so difficult? How do you do it? This isn't difficult. You click. Uh, two, are all of uh, <coughs> sorry, allergies. Are all houses this easy to clean? Do these chores ever end? Um, do these chores ever end? I think that's the question. Because it's easy, but if you're doing the same things over and over again, darling, let me tell you something. Whatever work you do, you have absolutely got to own it. Otherwise, it owns you. So why don't we be with the task at hand and leave the future chores to future really you? This game. Of all of his work, actually, this was the only one that he called me up to ask me to come over and look at it. Hmm. This was during a period of a few months where he was, like, grossly happy all the time. Just hmm. walked around with a constant smile on his face. So why don't we be with the task at hand and leave the future chores to future you? Present you wants, oh, present you wants to smooth out the rug in the bedroom. Believe it or not, trust me on this one. No, I know, uh, it's true. Would you mind tidying it up a bit? Oh, looks like the tub has gotten rather dirty. when I said I had a really cheesy thought, I was going to say that it occurs to me that one's health is a lot like one's soul. You take care of it, and it takes care of you. <laughs> I don't know why I feel so weird about saying that. I get it. That's a weird thing to say to someone you just met. Two? Yeah, you're right. That's pretty cheesy. Or three. But there's a bit of truth in it, no? That sounds like me. Three definitely sounds like me, but there's a bit of truth in it, no? Anyway, so, housekeeping. Let's keep doing this. Books, would you please clean up the books? Thanks. Oh goodness, those pillows over in the couch. Glad he found some peace. Are a real mess. Would you go over and straighten them up a bit? Can't have these folks coming home to a messy couch. Question. But of course, it can't last. Do you enjoy the music this? stops. Your companion is gone. It's time to leave. The door at the top of the hill is now open as well. Again. You can't stay in the dark space for too long. You just can't. You have to keep moving. It's how you stay alive. Whew. Could you imagine cleaning the fingerprints off your walls? I guess you'd be so rich you wouldn't have to. You just pay someone to do it for you. post again which is the whole point of the puzzle doors right that sooner or later you have to pick up and move i really thought that was the point of it 